Hello, in this video we are going to learn about the unguided media. As we know that the transmission medium is of two types, guided and unguided. In guided we have a conduit, we have a channel, physical channel for transmitting the data whereas in unguided signals they travel from the source to destination without any physical medium rather they travel either using ground propagation sky propagation or line of sight propagation. Now let me show you the electromagnetic spectrum for wireless communication where the waves that range whose frequency ranges from 3 kilohertz to 300 gigahertz are termed as radio waves and microwaves. Infrared waves ranges from 300 gigahertz to 400 terahertz. Beyond 400 terahertz till 900 terahertz we have light waves. Now the wireless transmission has three types of uh, transmissions, so radio wave, microwave and infrared waves. Now I told you about the propagation methods that the unguided signals travel from source to the destination using any one of the three propagation methods either ground propagation, sky propagation or line of sight propagation. If it is ground propagation. In ground propagation, the radio waves travel through the lowest portion of the atmosphere, through the lowest portion of the atmosphere, hugging the earth. Whereas in the sky propagation, very high frequency radio waves radiate upward towards the ionosphere, where they are reflected back to the earth. This type of transmission allows for greater distances, but with low power capacity. Whereas in line of sight propagation, very high frequency signals tran are transmitted between in a straight line between two antennas. That is why we call it as line of sight because they are in they are in one line, we call it as line of sight propagation. Now let us see that the radio waves, microwaves and infrared waves follow which kind of propagation method. As I told you in ground propagation radio waves travel through the lowest portion of the atmosphere. In sky propagation high frequency radio waves they move upwards towards the ionosphere where they are reflected to the earth. And in line of sight propagation we have very high frequency signals that are transmitted in straight lines directly from antenna to antenna. Now let me tell you about the radio waves. What is the frequency range of or the spectrum of radio wave signals between 3 kilohertz to 1 gigahertz? They basically are used for multicast communication such as radio. What do you mean by multicast communication? Where I been, I send it from one device but it is given to many devices such as radio and television and paging systems. The radio waves they can penetrate through walls. They are highly regulated and you can see uh, they use omnidirectional antennas. What do you mean by omnidirectional antennas? The omnidirectional antennas, they send out the signals in all the direction because as the radios and uh, 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 radio signals are broadcasted. That's why we make use of a omnidirectional antenna where the signals are sent out in all directions. Then we have the microwave. The spectrum for microwaves is 1 gigahertz to 300 gigahertz which is basically used for unicast communication only such as cellular telephones, satellite networks and wireless LANs. They are high frequency ranges and they cannot penetrate walls. We use directional antennas here because it makes use of line of sight communication. So in line of sight communication the tr transmission is in a straight line which is point to point so we make use of directional antennas for microwave. You can see we make use of dish antenna or horn antenna for unidirectional line of sight propagation. Then we have infrared waves. The infrared signals they range from 300 gigahertz to 400 terahertz and they can be used for only short range communication within a closed area using line of sight propagation. It can be used in communication between devices such as keyboard, mice, PCs and printers. As you all know we have uh, infrared uh, mouse and uh, printers and PCs available. 
where they make use of the infrared signals. The infrared waves have having high frequencies also cannot penetrate wall and it also uses line of sight propagation. So this was about your unguided transmission medium. Thank you.